Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to get the best FPS using shaders on Minecraft 1.17 for Mac. So let's get right into this. Okay, so to start off, we're going to want to head, head to this website here, irishshaders.net, and we click download now. So we're going to download the universal jar here. Click allow, and now that's downloaded. So we can head our downloads folder here. You're going to see the iris installer 2.0.0 jar. So we double click on that. It'll tell you it can't be opened from an unidentified developer. So we head to system preferences, security and privacy, and this bit at the bottom for the iris installer, click open anyway. Open. Now, if you're unable to open this, it means that you do not have the Java J JDK installed on your computer. However, you can click this link at the top right of the video just here, and I cover how to do that in this video. So, yes, check that out if you don't have it. But if you do have it, this iris installer will pop up. So we have iris and sodium, that's what we want. The game version, uh, 1.17.1. And now here, install as a fabric mod. Now. So you can either run it just as a client by itself or as a mod in fabric so you can have other mods as well uh, so i'm gonna show you how to do it just as a client itself if you can do it as fabric then that's what you can do as well so we click install and now that's installed let's close that and now we can open the minecraft launcher and you should see appear the iris and sodium loader. Uh, if you can't see that, just make sure that you've just restarted your Minecraft launcher. And you may have to restart your computer as well. Or you can go into installation as new installation. And find the one. There are quite a few that I've got, but find the one that has the iris and sodium installation. It will be somewhere along here. And then it will look like that and you can create a new installation. So now we can just click play and now we have Minecraft open. All right, and now we want to get the shaders as well. So it, the one that I would recommend are the Silders shaders, Silders Vibrant shaders, um, because I feel like they look pretty good and they also work. So I'd probably either, if your computer's not too great, the light ones or medium if you want to, so we'll say a bit better so I'm probably going to choose the medium ones just ignore all of this and we can click skip and then download button there and there you go now that's downloaded so we head back to minecraft to apply the shaders we go to options video settings you'll notice that the menu looks a little bit different with sodium and shader packs now. You see I've already got a couple in here. But all we do is just zoom out on our screen, pull up the downloads, and you see it says shader set. Now you want a zip file, so it may automatically unzip the file on the shaders. So you just head to bin if it has automatically unzipped it. And you can find the Silders Vibrant Shaders Medium Zip. We just can pull that out and put it into our downloads folder and move that one to bin. And then we just drag it and drop it in there. I already have it, so it's not going to do anything. And then you can just like enable the shaders, click on the ones you want, then click apply. And there we go. Now we have shaders in 1.17.1. And I gotta say, the FPS is so much better with this than an Octafine. It's like unreal difference. So. Uh, there are a couple of things that you can't do, such as zoom. However, if you install it as a mod and put it into Fabric, then you can just get that and download all the other replacement mods. I hope you did enjoy this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and maybe think about subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.